Today we learned that Whirlpool has finished cleaning a chemical spill around the now closed plant, but the chemicals aren't completely gone. 4029's Brett Rains found out what's next. It's new at five. Now my property is not worth anything, and I don't have a problem living here for the rest of my life. But anything that I would leave my kids would be half of what I would have left them. People who live near the closed Whirlpool plant say a chemical spill has ruined their property values. Of all of the monitoring wells that we have, 83% have either been stable or shown reduction. And so there are some areas where, again, not unexpected, there have been some increases in concentration. And that's exactly why we're working with ADEC in terms of what are we going to do about it. That's Jeff Noel, a Whirlpool executive. Today he updated the state on the cleanup. The company used trichloroethylene from the 60s to the 80s. It leaked and spread to land around the plant. These wells have been dug near the plant, and that's how they test the level of chemicals in the ground. The Arkansas Department of Environmental Quality inspects these wells to check the progress of the cleanup. In their report released today, Whirlpool says TCE levels have decreased, but it's not gone completely. Several homeowners have sued the company over concerns about their health and value of their land. They didn't know that there was going to be any problems or not any problems. And my kids could have come down with something. They didn't, but they didn't know that. Brett Rains, 4029 News. And ADEX says they'll look at what Whirlpool has done and will continue to monitor levels to see if there needs to be more treatments.